Dirk Friel with Training Peaks. We're on the rest day uh, somewhere near Orange, France. I'm here with Richie Port, and uh, he's on Saxo Bank Sun Guard. And uh, thanks for joining us, Rich. You go by Richie or Rich? Richie. Richie, all right. Um, you know, you, you came into the tour having prepared coming off the Giro. Yep. And most people say that's not ideal preparation. You've certainly had success in the Giro before. Um, tell us about the transition from the Giro into the tour and, and that time gap in between. What, what kind of training were you doing? Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, the good thing about doing two Grand Tours in a year is you don't really have to train that much when you right, get home. Nice. So, look, I mean, after the Giro, obviously, it, it was such a hard race that um, you know, for two weeks I'm based in Monaco, so I just rode to, to the coffee shop, to be honest. And, um, yeah. You know, then we sort of looked on, on my training peaks and, uh, nice. you know, through the SRM and, and we sort of, you know, we can see the recovery and how it's going. And then after two weeks, I was, I was recovered enough to, to go to altitude and do a good block. And uh, look, I think my, my form here is much better than it was for the, the Giro. So really? I don't think it's too much, you know. I'm second year pro, but two, two grand tours, I don't think it's too much if you, if you get it right. Yeah, nice. So we were just at the press conference and heard Alberto Contador say that he did one race between the Giro and the Tour, and that was his national championships. Yeah. He kind of entered the Tour, uh, his form was off, um, so you didn't feel kind of under weather and lack of speed or, or any of that the first no, week? I mean, I didn't race at all in between, but uh, no, I think in the first week, yeah, I was a little bit rusty, but um, it doesn't take too long to get back to it. It's more the bike positioning and the and the fight to stay up the front that uh, right. gets to you. Right. So, um, looking forward to the Alps here, higher altitudes, longer climbs, have you yeah. raced them before? Like, you know, any any previous Dauphiné experience or any, anything? No, I mean, I haven't raced them, but uh, I ha have done the recon of them, and look, I think it's going to be the week where the race blows apart, and uh, <laughs> I think it's the climbing that suits our team the most, and uh, really hope that we can shake the GC up a little bit more. Yeah, nice, super. Thanks for uh, visiting with us today. Thank you.